Hi Primary 2, um, for this week's theme challenge you're going to make a floating flower surprise. Have a look at the video now and see how to make one of these exciting creatures. Have lots of fun! Start with a square of paper. You've got to fold it in half one way and make sure the corners kiss and then fold it in half the other way. Then draw a petal shape outwards from the folded corner. Ask an adult to make sure you've got the right corner. Then cut around the shape to make petals. Be careful with scissors and may remember to ask for help if you need it. Then open out your paper and you should get a flower shape. Fold each corner into the middle. Make sure you do with every single petal. Now, this is called a floating flower surprise. So you need to hide something inside your flower. I have gone for a beetle with six legs and a big body. You could do a frog or a little dragonfly or an animal that you would expect to see maybe in a pond or near the water. Now, I've drawn this using a circle and six legs. I am then going to make sure it looks really decorative. I've only got white paper, but I've got lots of colours, so I'm going to make a pattern and colour it in. Then, after I've finished colouring it in, I will make sure I cut it out really carefully. Next, put your beetle or animal of choice inside your flower and fold the corners in of the petals around it. Fill up a large bowl or a sink full of water. Very carefully place your folded flower on top of the water. Now, you're going to need to be a little bit patient here, Primary 2, because this part of our science experiment takes a wee bit of time. Slowly, you will start to see the petals rise and show your surprise inside. This might be an activity you want to do once on your own and then surprise someone later on with what animal you put inside your flower. Sit back and enjoy and watch your petals open up. So, as the material, paper, soaks up the water, it gets slightly bigger, it expands. And this movement means that our flower or our petals begin to open up. Now, different types of paper will do this at different speeds. So newspaper, for example, is very thin, so it would open up really quickly because it would absorb the water faster. Thicker paper would take a wee bit longer of time and you'll need to be extra patient. Why don't you have a go at trying out some different paper or even trying out different petals to see if the shape of petal makes a difference. Hope you have lots of fun. Can't wait to see your pictures on Teams.